Hey, 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 what's good, good people? I am Travail C.W. Lynch, Mr. What What, and your self-worth specialist. Yes, I'm so excited. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the I Am The Possible podcast experience, the place where possibilities become perspective. Yes, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am crazy excited. Why am I crazy excited? Because once again, for week number two, technical difficulties has caused me to have to re-record this podcast. We're going to get it right. But Lord knows when I bump up into these issues, something deep down inside of me, (laughs) something deep down in my soul tells me I'm about to say something. That's going to bring glory to God, man. It's going to edify his people and it's going to make the devil mad. So that's the story and I'm sticking to it. But guys, before we jump into anything else, guys, let's pause for the cause. And you know what the cause is around here. It's you. You are the cause. You are the reason I do what I do. So guys, thank you so, so much for rocking with me again this week. Your presence is the greatest present that anyone could ever give me. So thank you. I appreciate you. Guys, this week, what are we talking about? We're talking about this little thing called rejection. Have you ever or do you right now feel rejected in your life now i'm super excited but this is not a laughing matter because this thing goes deep for a lot of people okay um i have been there i've done that i got the t-shirt two hats to match and a bracelet you feel me um i know what it means to feel and to be rejected i know what it means to be an outcast excuse me i know what it means to not fit in right i know what it means man to be the last one picked right sitting on that we're not sitting, but standing on that playground and they're picking teams and you're the last one picked. And you know, by being the last one picked, they're not picking you because they want you. They're picking you because they got to get the teams even five on five, three on three. And you were the last body, right? You Listen, your qualifications was you're breathing. OK, we'll just take you right. Sometimes we're feeling that way in life. Like life is just like looking us over or overlooking us. Let me say last one to picked if picked at all. And maybe you're feeling that way right now. Maybe you feel rejected. Maybe you feel inadequate. Maybe you feel like, you know, life um, is just passing you by. Like the train is moving and you just can't get on. You name it, you frame it, you put it into your framework. You know what that means for you. But I want to open up and I want to create a space, right? Remember, we call ourselves an environment around here. This this platform, this ministry, it is an environment, right? And I want to welcome you and I want to welcome God in just a moment into this environment so that you can experience some things right depending on the environment you go into you're going to experience certain things i want you to experience um a sense of acceptance and approval through the things that i'm going to share with you today because the truth is you may feel rejected but our feelings are not always great truth tellers our feelings can often deceive us so let's jump into this guys before we do anything else let me let me pray let me welcome the spirit of god into this moment because ultimately he's the one that we're going to look to ultimately he he's the source of truth right the world will lie to you you will lie to yourself but the truth the source of truth um god is available and um always accessible So let's go to him. Father God, we just thank you so much for being available, for being accessible. I invite you by your spirit right now into this moment, into this episode, into this experience. I humbly ask on behalf of every listener or those who are watching 
that you would bless us today. Bless me as I speak. Download to me the things that you desire for me to share. Help me to hold back and to not say things that I shouldn't, but help me to be bold and courageous in those things that I am to share. We pray a blessing over the ears of the listeners, eyes of the watchers, that they may witness and behold in their watching or in their listening the truth concerning them. I pray for a spirit of liberation. I pray for a spirit of freedom out, um, out, um, uh, outcomes and outbreaks of truth that we would take the lies that the enemy has given us the lies that the world has given us the lies that we've come up with our, with our own thinking and reasoning, submit them all to you, exchange them even now for your truth. Give us your truth in this moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm ready. Ooh, yes. I'm excited, man. Let's jump into this thing. Let's do, let's do this. All right. Let me go to my tracks, man. Here we go. If you are watching on the tube, you should be watching on the tube. If you're not watching me on the tube, why aren't you watching on the tube? Do you just not like how I look? Do you not? Do you just not like watching me, man? Do you, do, you know what? What? What's the deal, right? Okay, but if you're not on the tube, then I invite you to go to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube, hit the little button, the little bell up top, man, so that you can get the notification, so that you can know when there is a new post, man. Because I got some good stuff coming. I got some good stuff. If you think any of this is good. Ooh, you can't, boy, you don't understand what's about to start dropping through the I Am The Possible Universe. This thing is about to get off the hook. So, yeah, go to the tube, subscribe, be a part of the visual experience. All right, guys, if you are watching right now, you see that it says on the screen the two reasons you never have to feel rejected again. That's right. I'm bold. That's right. I'm going to say it. Never. You ain't never. I should have put it in O V A or what? Never. N N E V A. Never. I should have put some attitude on it, some stank on it. Two, the two reasons you ain't never, you never have to feel rejected again. If you're feeling rejected, it can stop today. You ain't got to wait. That's the problem now. Boom. There it is. Do you feel, right? Do you feel? feel it's a feeling do you feel you need some sort of approval to move forward in life are you waiting for the green light of life right is are you waiting for life to give you some sort of green light some sort of signal some sort of sign in order for you to move forward are you stuck right are you um complacent are you uh you know you know are you are you lethargically moving through life because you really don't feel excuse me, that you've been approved, like you're waiting for someone to do something or someone to say something. Whenever I think about this, right? Go with me here. Whenever I think about this, I think about going to the bank, right? You ever go to the bank and try to get approved for a loan, right? You go, you fill out all the paperwork, you submit it, and then you cross your fingers. Ooh, uh, mm, please, please, please accept, please, please, please approve. And then you get that phone call or you get that email, Sorry, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so. we've uh, reviewed your files and you are, you have been denied. You are not approved, AKA you have been rejected, right? For this loan. And you had all of your, you know, expectations, you know, wrapped up in this thing, man. You had all of your, uh, you know, hopes and your, you know, your desires wrapped up in this thing. And, you know, basically someone else had control over whether or not you were approved and they deemed you unapprovable they rejected you right whenever whenever you go back and you research right you say okay well you rejected me you didn't approve it why i can promise you nine times out of ten is going to be because they're going to say insufficient funds insufficient credit history insufficient something right they're going to come up with some reason that it was insufficient you didn't have enough of something you didn't have a, enough of this enough of that credit history uh money in the bank you didn't have enough whatever 
some of us in life are experiencing you don't have enough of something you don't have enough of something and i sense the kind of pause right there what is that for you you don't have enough of something there is a indictment on you a self-indictment maybe someone has said something to you maybe someone's done something to you and you feel like i don't have enough of something i'm not enough i'm not adequate i don't add up i don't equate i'm missing something and because of that i don't feel approved i don't feel validated i don't feel uh like i can move forward i feel stuck because i'm pending life's approval is that you are you pending you know how you submit for something and it's pending their approval in order for the process to continue some of you in life you're pending in your own mind where it matters most you're pending someone is someone's approval someone's action you're waiting for someone else's authority to let you go forward to let you move forward in life and it's an illusion it's an illusion and i'm going to show you why let's jump into this thing shall we let's do this thing i'm so freaking excited come on guys set them free set us free i i got my stuff too come on guys set us free set us free here we go booyah do you feel rejected do you lack a sense of approval rejection is the opposite of approval approval is the opposite of rejection if you feel rejected then you lack a sense of approval otherwise you'd move forward right and if you sense approval then you know that you're not rejected and you can with confidence move forward they're the polar opposites of one another so you have to ask yourself that question do you feel rejected Side note about questions, guys. It's very important that we understand the power of questions. Look at the spelling of it. Quest. I on. The way I like to put it, and I believe God dropped this in my spirit many years ago. When you ask questions, you're sending your mind on a quest, on a adventure, on a, um, a treasure hunt, right? A quest. Quest I on, quest I'm on. The mind is hardwired. It's hardwired for you to discover the answers to things. It does that automatically. It doesn't need your permission for it to do that. That's the way that the that the mind works. When you give the mind questions, quality questions, it's going to then look for and produce to you answers. So it's very important that you ask the right questions. Stop asking in life. This again, guys, this is a total side note. Stop asking why me. Stop asking, um, you know, uh, you know, you know, life, you know, how, how come things keep happening like this? Or, you know, it, it, it's like, don't ask those negative questions. Ask, how can I see this in a way that's beneficial? How can I see this in a way that will prosper me? How can I see the good in this? How can I be gra How can I uh, express gratitude in the midst of my storm? How is it that I can be in, at, at peace in the midst of my troubles? Ask those types of questions right so that you can get the answers that you're actually looking for side note just that's all side note side note a little bonus you know a little bonus brother throw a little bonus in there for you throw a little bonus all right guys here it is by definition you know i love definitions rejection from the latin it means to reject it means to throw back i don't want you i don't need you i'm throwing you back refuse to accept dismiss as and here's the big one inadequate some of us feel inadequate, man. We don't feel like we are enough. That's what life has told us. That's what our relationships have told us. That's what our, our family members have told us. That's what those disappointing moments and events in our lives, that's what it told us. We're not adequate. Now, approval, it means the belief that someone or something is good and acceptable. It's the total opposite. I can accept you. You're good enough, right? You meet the requirements. Just like that loan they're basically saying your application is not good enough it's not acceptable because you haven't you know equated up to enough you you haven't done enough right you guys getting this we're going through this in our own mind in our own lives every single day am i rejected am i approved am i approved am i rejected 
You're going through that every single day. You may not be aware of it. It may not be clear to you, but that's the purpose of today's podcast, man. To bring some clarity to this thing, to just make you aware of this thing. I just want to bring awareness to this thing. All right. So check it out, guys. I want to share with you this story out of my new book. What is enough? If you ain't got the new book, why don't you? Why don't you have my new book? Why don't you have it? It's on Amazon, right? It's there. Just look it up. Just type in Travail C.W. Lynch. Just type in what is enough. It's right there. And this book is pretty dope. It's pretty doggone dope. Not because I wrote it. It's dope because it addresses the very thing they were talking about today. What is enough? You're enough. Now, I ain't going to break it. I ain't going to let the cat out the bag. But what is enough? You are. You are enough. And in that book, I break it down, man. Right? It's like having, um, you know, like, <laughs> like a podcast on paper. You feel me? Like, if you love what I'm sharing with you, if you love these episodes, these these experiences, go out and get that book, man. What is enough? That's like having these podcasts in a book. where You can take them around, read them, and really, really, really learn that you're enough. That your life is approved that you that you are adequate right but i want to share with you man a story out of this book i think i can share my screen let me share my screen again see if you're not on the tube man you're missing out on some visual dopeness man we got some visual dopeness going on on the tube all right so guys many people contributed to this book um but one person in particular was a lady that I met at 24 Hour Fitness, right? She was in a sauna and um, she had a profound impact on this uh, on this book. She made the, you know, chapter one, actually wrote chapter one. Chapter one was about her. She was the opening scene right to the movie. Right. And um, so I'm I'm going into the, you know, sauna post workout like I always do. Get my get my workout on. Now I got to go get my sweat on. And uh, I walk into the sauna, y'all, and she just starts talking to me, man. Like, she don't even, like, there's no introduction. There's no, hey, how you doing? Excuse me. She just she just breaks into talking. And so that's what really catches me by surprise. But check out what she said, right, and how this ties into the very thing that we're talking about today. All right, check this out. As she rocked back and forth next to the hot coals, she told me how she was attempting to sweat as much as possible because she needed to lose just a few more pounds to reach her goals as if I me mean, um at, as she spoke she vigorously pinched and pulled at her stomach as if to express her repulsion at the sight of her tiny 22 inch waistline her words took me by surprise i couldn't imagine why she felt this way losing more weight was the last thing she needed to do by my estimates she was about five, six and couldn't weigh more than 120 pounds. She then went on to tell me how she worked in a real estate office where she was a successful agent. She was currently pursuing one last certification. <laughs> how many of us is on that one more, right? Just one more, just one more, then I'll be enough. Just one more and then I'll have it. Just one more and then I'll be someone. See, see, you're not alone. You're not alone. So she was pursuing one last certification. And once she got that, she'd finally be able to brag to her family and feel good about herself. Those were her exact words. She was waiting for one more thing. And you know how it goes. That one more just becomes one more. And the cycle never ends. I don't know much about real estate, but my wife has her real estate license. And I know from watching her go through the rigorous process of getting licensed that this woman already had plenty to be proud of. She went on to share with me the stress that she was experiencing due to the pressure from her older sister, who was very successful in her own right and was constantly telling her to be thinner, trendier and more aggressive in the workplace. Her sister said that would ensure she could keep up with the millennials, the evil millennials, right? <laughs> uh, that she could keep up with the millennials who were her competition, right? Competition. Oh, my God. I don't even want to chase that rabbit today. Uh, just this idea of we're in competition with the world. Oh, my goodness. Um, no one's going to outwork me. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, side note. Okay, back to the program. Um, as the woman continued talking, she began to pull at her hair and describe 
how the stress had gotten so bad that her hair was falling out. Literally. Can you relate to any of this? Guys, did you see yourself in that story? Did you feel anything that she was feeling? The as soon as I get this, then. As soon as I achieve this, then. See, one thing that I've learned is that subconsciously, without our knowing, we're not aware of it, right? That's why I'm so big on awareness. We're not even aware of it. But sometimes we're trying to self-approve through efforts, through striving, through stress, through being overwhelmed by trying to do so much. We're trying to earn, like I like to put it, we're trying to earn our enoughness through our efforts. And so we'll try to self-approve by achievements, accomplishments, attainments, right? My three A's, right? Achievements, accomplishments, attainments. We're trying to get all those things so that we can add up to enough. And the truth is nothing outside of us will ever truly add any additional value. We already come loaded. We already come totally valuable, totally, com completely valuable. None of that stuff actually adds to our value at all. All right. So let's get back to this, guys. Share that. Boom. Let me share that. Boom. All right. Guys, I want to jump right in, man. I'm going to give you all these two reasons. Right. We've talked. We've led up to it. We've been talking about it, chopping it up, relating right why should i feel approved and why should i never again feel rejected here's reason number one if you're watching on the tube here's reason number one reason number one your creator's approval yeah your creator has already approved you and i'm gonna give you three now listen guys there are hundreds of scriptures hundreds of truth right that show and prove that you are approved i'm gonna just give you three today because there's something magical about the number three i don't know what it is but the the human mind i mean they've done studies give a person three choices don't give them one don't give them two don't give them five give them three it's something magical about three so i'm gonna give you three to choose from today take any one of man run with it number one genesis right 131 God had created us in our likeness and our image, right? He created us, right? And then it goes down to verse 31. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. It was suitable, pleasant, and he approved it completely. God already approved you. That's one reason you should never feel rejected again. Your creator, your source, the one that thought of you, the one that conceived you in his ideas and imaginations and thoughts and heart. He conceived you from within himself. You're God's idea. You're God's creation. You're God's handiwork. You're God's thing, man. Like he put you together. You're approved. Number two, coming up out of Ephesians 1.4 fire right here baby he chose us in him when before that's a key word before remember i was telling you on the basketball court last one to get picked there's a huge difference between being the last one picked and the first one picked he's saying i chose you before i did anything else i chose you you were my first pick see in life here let me put the screen back on me so i can look you in the eye in the virtual eye in life People will pick your last. You will pick your last. Life will pick your last. Not with God. No, 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 no. Not with God. With God, in God, you're always number one. You're always number one. Don't forget it. Don't you dare forget it. All right, guys. Last one. For the Lord takes delight. If he takes delight in you, he likes you. Do you like yourself? He loves you. Do you love yourself? Is the question. It's just for the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns. He put a freaking crown on us, man. He crowns the humble with victory. That means you win. You want, you want, you, you want a sign of approval? 
he's telling you i like you and i put on your head victory that means you go after it you go you go for it you're gonna win he got your back that's number one that's reason number one your creator's approval oh my goodness that's fire i'm i'm sorry i mean i'm I'm getting re-inspired all over again. I mean, I was working on these slides and I was just like, oh, my goodness, God, you 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 off the hook with it. But now explaining it, breaking it down, sharing in this moment with you. Oh, my goodness. Come on, guys, let's let's experience this. Right. This is the I am the possible podcast experience, baby. Experience this for a minute. Close your eyes. Hit the pause button. Experience this for a minute, man. Soak that in. You're God's idea. You're his imagination. You're his creation. Think about that. He chose you, right? Imagine being in a lineup and God picking you first. Imagine that he's dancing and laughing and smiling at you for you. He's taking delight in you. Close your eyes and get a picture of this. Experience this feel this because you've been feeling rejected you've been feeling all down in you know in the mud you've been feeling like trash you you've been feeling like, like the world don't like you you've been feeling that crap well feel this feel this come on man this is dope i love it i love it i'm excited here we go reason number two and you know that's the preach in me man if the reason number one was a ca right your creator's approval then you know reason number two had to be a CA. The creation's approval. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Check this out, guys. I want you to play along with me, all right? I'm going to ask you to do something. Play along with me. Check this out. First thing to do, I want you to name an object. Anything. I don't care what it is. Now, if you are on the tube, I'm going to come back to me, and I'm going to hold up a cellular phone. I'm going to hold up my fizzy, my phone. But you grab any object that you want, Okay. And here, uh, let me go back. And here is the second thing. After you name an object or pick up one, now name what it does or what it's used for. Okay. So in my case, right? In my case, I've got my phone and a phone is used for making phone calls. <laughs> it's funny when I said that. Um, with technology, I mean, are we actually making phone calls anymore? I mean, it's so ridiculous. We text more than we call and we got a gazillion apps eating up all of our storage and data because we play phone, you know, we play games on it. We got calendars on it. Anyway, I don't want to chase that rabbit, but you you totally get what I'm saying. Nine times out of ten, a, li a literal phone call is probably the least thing you do with your phone nowadays. But that's just Apple's fault. OK, um, anyway, but it was. Uh, listen it was originally created to make phone calls all right so in my case i've got a phone that's my object what is it used for it's used for making phone calls all right nowadays i could easily say it's used for entertainment purposes all right now why is that important here's the reason it's important if it exists like my phone does i'm gonna just use my example if it exists like my phone then it has a purpose the phone exists. It's real. It's in my hand. It has a purpose. You can make phone calls with it. What's the use? The ability to connect with other people. That means I need and want to connect with other people. This equates to the phone in my life. It is approved. It means it is acceptable. It is adequate. It is enough. See where that goes? It works backwards, guys. Need and want. Think about it this way. I need and want to connect with my family in Chicago, in Toledo, in North Carolina, in yada, yada, yada. I got my need. I got my want. That's where everything starts. Like any other idea, it starts with a need or a want. How is that going to happen? Through the use of some sort of technology. I'm working backwards on the slide now. The purpose of the technology is to make connections possible. What currently exists in the world? Sound waves. So man can tap into sound waves 
with technology and bring about the thing that I've, you know, the very thing that I wanted to achieve. Yeah. Accepted. Approved. See how that works, guys. I want you to see yourself in the exact same way. If you exist, if you exist, that means you have a purpose. Nothing is created without a purpose. Why? Because everything starts with a need or a want. If you're, if, if you're looking on the screen, existence, do you exist? Yes. Purpose. You have a purpose, whether you know it or not. God knows it. That's why I always point you guys back to that master class at, 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 at IamThePossible.com. That's not just some sales pitch or some, or some, you know, promotion, but I'm serious about going to get that master class. Why? Because you understand that your existence makes you enough. So you exist. So you have a purpose. If you have a purpose, then it means that you're being used for something. God wants to use you for something. And if God wants to use you for something, then God needs you. You're needed and wanted. So that means that you are approved. Guys, soak it in. Soak it in. Come on. These are the two reasons you should never, ever again in your freaking life feel rejected. Here's now, here's the deal, man. Here, and let me go back so that I can. Here's the dealio. I just gave you two reasons you ain't never got to feel rejected again. That don't mean you won't. <laughs> See, it's a choice. My job is to provide to you the, the evidence. My job is to get on this camera, get on this, you know, microphone and share what I believe God wants me to share. And he wants me to share with you the truth of the matter. But guys, come on, let's be real. Truth ain't got to be accepted. You can reject truth. You can believe a lie and reject truth. Just like you can believe a truth and reject a lie. It's still your choice. Now, my job ain't to jump through the camera and force you to do anything. I pray that you receive these two reasons. I believe that someone out there, it just clicked for you. It just clicked. There was a bing, a aha moment. Right? Right? You know, it, it was a, it was a, it was a, a light bulb moment, right? Light bulb, right? <laughs> right? Right? I forgot what, what, what a cartoon that was, but it was light bulb, right? For somebody, the light bulb just went off. It just cut on. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. I know. I know. You're getting it. You're getting it. You see it, don't you? I know. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Accept it. That's good. It's okay accept it let it work on you man let it let it let it breathe on you man let it inspire you it's okay it's all right let it do what it do baby let it do what it do i know i'm gonna i'm gonna let it i'm i'm gonna let it marinate i'm gonna let it marinate all right guys here we go if you are on the tube check it out you've always been approved your actions your thoughts, even your words, those things may not be approved by God. Depending on what you're doing, depending on what you're thinking, depending on what you're saying. Yeah, the truth is those things might not be approved by God. Just like that bank didn't approve your loan, God might not approve of what you're saying and thinking and doing. He might not like what you, you know. Yeah, it's just, you know. But you, but you, I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. But you, in and of yourself, have always been and will always be approved. That's what's up. That's what's up, guys. I'm going to say it one more time for those who are just listening. I want it to stick. You've always been approved. Remember Genesis 131. You have always been approved. Your actions, your thoughts, your words, they may not be approved. That's just 100. That's that's just keeping it 100, dude. God ain't got to like everything you're saying and doing and thinking. 
Heck, you don't even like some of the things you saying, doing, and thinking. He ain't got to approve of that. But he definitely 100% approves of you. But you in and of yourself, you have always been and will always be approved. And I want you to know it. I want you to know it and I want your life to show it. Y'all hear me, man. Y'all hear me. I know I'm joking around. I'm kind of playing a little bit, but come on, guys. Y'all getting this? Mm-hmm. That's the truth of it, man. All right, guys. I'm about to shut it down. Shut it down. I pray that you received it. I pray that you received it. I pray that you got it. I pray that it means something to you. I pray that you take it, run with it, do what you do. All right? Okay, guys. Wrapping it up. As always, my last three, number one, free masterclass, self-worth discovery, self-worth, self-discovery, all that, man. Go discover yourself, man. I am the possible.com. Any prayer requests, any questions that you may have, hit me up, info at I am the possible.com. And lastly, and most importantly, support a brother, support me, help me out. Let's help get this word out, man. Share this podcast with somebody. Share this YouTube channel with somebody. Share this YouTube link with somebody. Post it. Share it. Uh, you know, tag somebody. Do something, man. Get it out there. Email, call, text. Let somebody know that this is available. You don't know how impactful you could be by just a quick share. Don't worry about if they like it. Don't worry about if they receive it. That's not your job. That's not my job. Just be the go-between. Just be the bridge, man. Just let someone else know that this is available. Let them know about the I am the possible dot com. Let them know that there is a source, a resource, that there's a brother out here that's trying to do some good in this world. And that there's a message that is going out that can uplift and that can inspire and strengthen, man, and edify and build you up. So subscribe at Apple iPods. Subscribe. See, there I go with the iPods. I'm looking at... See, <laughs> side note, man. And that's why I love these little outtakes. That's why I don't cut them out. Because I just love being human. I got my gym bag in front of me, right? And as soon as I'm done wrapping up the recording, I hit the gym, right? You guys know I love the gym. Well, I use my little Apple iPods, right? And um, they're, they're, they're pretty dope, right? They they work really well right they're, they're the best wireless headphones i've ever had but my mind right looking at this you know bag in front of me um and i'm kind of already mentally you know what i'm saying just you know wrap it up boom close it out and then you got to go do what you got to do um thinking about ipods man so anyway don't worry about ipods airpods and that's really what i was trying to say airpods not even ipods airpods but heck man apple got too much stuff Let's just put it that way. They taking over iPods, pads, and everything else, phones. My goodness. I jeez, man. They 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 just took over the world, man. My goodness. Anyway, back to the regularly scheduled program. Supporter brother, subscribe on Apple I. See? Apple I. It's not Apple nothing. Apple Pod. Cast. <laughs> um uh, subscribe there. Subscribe on my YouTube. Share. Leave a a review leave a comment leave something let me know how you're thinking how you're feeling how you're receiving right just a regular dude man just uh just trying to help out so let me know if it's hitting you let me know what it's saying to you let me know if anything hits um and share your insights man share your insights expound on this thing i ain't got all the answers I'm I'm just I'm just willing to share. I'm just willing to get in the mix, man. But you might have something, right? You may have something that 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 that, that you want to piggyback on this thing. So you can drop um, a review or comments on um, on the Apple Podcast, uh, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can leave a comment, man, and uh, share your thoughts, good, bad, or indifferent. It's all good. I just want to hear from you. All right. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Been another episode. Been another experience. It's been good rocking with you guys, man. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, Again, you're the reason why I do what I do. 
pray that you guys have an amazing week, man. Pray that this, this has been an encouragement to you. Uh, take some of this, man. Put it in your pocket. Do something good with it. Tell somebody else about it. Share, share, share um, the good news, man. All right. There's some good news. Right. We got enough negative bad news that's blasting through our televisions every morning. There is some good news available. And uh, you, yes, you can help share that good news. Until next time, guys. Love you guys. Praying for you guys. Believe in you guys. This is Travel C. W. Lynch. Mr. What What. Your, yes, your self-worth specialist. And this is the I Am The Possible Podcast Experience. The place where possibilities become perspective. Peace.